Welcome back to Innovation. Last time we were here, we added in our score and we got our cat to catch the balls. The next thing we're going to do is make it so our score, when it gets to a certain point, we win the game. So the first thing we need to do is check our score. So I'm going to put in a control. Actually, let's put in an event. And we want to constantly be checking the score. And we're on the ball. We're going to have the ball check the score. Uh, we could have the cat check the score too, but we're going to do it with the ball. And we're going to click on control. And I want to put in a forever loop because I constantly want to be checking the score. And then I want to take this conditional if hexagon then and put that right there in the forever loop. So now we have to check our variable score. And we're going to use an operator to do that. That's this green hexagon. We want to check the score to see if it's greater than something. So I'm going to drag it over here and fit it into that hexagon with the conditional. Now I'm missing the word score. So I'm going to have to go to my variables, find score, and drag it in. And now if the score is greater than 50, what do we do? Well, we should stop the game and we should say something that lets the player know that they have won the game. So to stop the game, we're going to go to control and there's this block down here that says stop all. So we're going to drag that in. But we don't want to stop all. We just want to stop the sprites in this script. So that will stop all of the sprites in this script. But we actually want to keep going a little bit further with this sprite. So we really want to stop other sprites in this script. You see the difference? If we stop sprites in this script, we have no puzzle piece to connect to. It's over. If I stop sprites in other scripts, other sprites in this script, I get another puzzle piece to connect to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to broadcast a message to let everything, every part of the game know that we have won. So that way we can do some other things. So I'm going to find my events and I want to broadcast a message. Right now it says broadcast animate. We're going to change that. And I want to put that in right here. So I'm going to, I already typed it in, but we're going to type in new message and we're going to type in win. So you type in win. Let's say I did that and press entered and you'll see win appear under your messages. I had already tried that just to make sure it worked. So one last thing, um, I want to stop all of the sprites in this um, script now. So that way I don't end up with it's still running forever in a loop in the background because that could cause some memory issues. So we're going to do one more thing and go to events, actually not events, control, and put in a stop all because now we really want it to stop doing everything. So we wanted it to broadcast win one more time and then stop everything. Now the other way we could have done that was we could have done the broadcast win first. That might be more efficient. And then just do a stop all. I think that's what we'll do. But the only disadvantage of that is there might be some balls that are still dropping while the score is the same. So there might be a second or so, a split second, really, really fast, where um, the score could change one more time. So if that bothers you, leave that other block in. If it doesn't bother you and you don't, and you want something that might look a little bit more efficient, you can take that block out and just leave it with these two. It's totally up to you. You get to decide. So now that we have that done, we need to make a background change. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click over here on the far right where it says choose a backdrop. And I'm going to click on the paint feature. And that's going to give me a backdrop that is blank. So I'm going to change its name to win. And then I'm going to type in 
you win. Now, you can be as creative as you want. I'm not very creative on this, so you can make it as creative as you want. I think I do want to do one extra thing, though. I think I want to make it look like the cat has frozen on the screen and the cat is still there. So I'm going to steal the cat sprite. So I'm going to click on the cat. And notice we're still in the edit window. I'm going to grab this little arrow here. And I'm going to draw a box around the whole cat. And then I'm going to click on copy. Then I'm going to go back to my you win backdrop and paste the cat in. So now I have my cat on my backdrop. So it's going to look like my cat is actually there on my backdrop. So it looks like I got pretty good. I got my you win. I'm going to click on the code for the backdrop. So the backdrop actually has code. And when it receives the broadcast message, so that's this block here, when I need to make the backdrop switch to win. Now the only thing is I don't want the backdrop to always be win. So when I receive the green flag clicked, I should make the backdrop the galaxy. So now when I press the green flag and it's the it'll go to the galaxy, when I receive win, it'll go to this backdrop and say I win. A couple more things just to polish it up. I'm going to click on the cat. And when the cat receives win, we're going to hide the cat. So that way it's not showing anymore. And we're going to stop all scripts. So that way the cat cannot move anymore. So that's under control. Stop all scripts in this sprite. Actually, we could just do stop all. Okay, that'll stop all the scripts. And then finally, since we're hiding the cat at the end of the game, we have to make sure that we show the cat at the beginning of the game. And there we go. So that shows the cat. Now we're going to click on the ground because we don't want the ground to be across the bottom. So we want to make sure it's hidden and shown. So I'm going to go to events. When green flag clicked, I want to show the ground. But when I receive win, I want to hide the ground. So just to test it out, I'm going to change the score to like five or f yeah, five is good. I just have to catch one ball, one or two balls. So that way I know it's working and then we can go back later and change it to 50. Oh, looks like good. Cats on the screen. I should catch some balls. Remember, I can move up and down too. I got one. I think I need one more. Oh, nope. Now I need two more. Almost. Come on, one more. Hey, look, I won. So now we can see that everything switched over and it won. And if I press green flag, then I can play the game again and the score resets and everything is moving properly. So that is our entire game. The whole thing is built. I hope you had fun. See you next time.